it is this on-off cycle of activity which makes the cell so useful for scientists to study. Scientists studied the cycle of regeneration in aging mice. They found that as the cells age, the wear and tear of aging leads to errors building up in the mouse's DNA. This age-related damage, which affects us all, in turn destroys a specific collagen protein. As the collagen is destroyed it sets of signals in the stem cells causing them to switch track in their development. So instead of maturing into hair producing follicle cells, they mature into skin cells called epidermal keratocytes. These new skin cells then move out of the follicle to the surface of the scalp, where they are shed in the normal turnover of skin. However, they are not replaced and so the hair follicle shrinks, becoming smaller and smaller until it eventually disappears and becomes part of the surrounding skin. To see if the same mechanism is found in humans, the team analyzed the scalps of women aged from 22 to 70. Women over the age of 50 were found to have smaller hair follicles with lower levels of the same collagen protein in mice. Speaking to Science Magazine, Professor Emi Nishimura, lead author and researcher at the Tokyo Medical and Dental University, explained, We assume that, aging processes and mechanisms similar to those in the mice explain the human age-associated hair thinning and hair loss. The findings are published in the journal Science. The researchers believe that the protein, collagen 17A1, could provide a future target for hair loss. In a second study published in the same issue of the journal, scientists found that a key signaling molecule may provide a clue to the hair cell cycle. The protein, called FOXC1, was found to be expressed by active hair follicle cells. But scientists blocked the signal in mice, they found that active stem cells didn't return to their quiet state. This, they explained, indicates that FOXC1 is key in telling the cells to settle down again after their burst of activity. Dr. Rui Yi, from the University of Colorado Boulder, who led the research, told Science, after the cells start to duplicate, they say, mission accomplished, let's go back to quiescence. Let's wait for the next time.